In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite defense in Madden 22 um, as a base coverage. This is a base call that I like to use in the in the in the beginning of games whenever I'm just trying to fill out my opponent, kind of see what they're about. This is my go-to defense. I think this is one of the most effective defenses in the entire game, and I'm super excited to break this down for you. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we're going to be talking today about the nickel 245 odd, and I actually just released a full uh, defensive guide on the nickel 245 odd. I think this is one of the best defenses, if not just flat out the best defense in the entire game for several different reasons. One of those reasons is because of the fact that we can get really good personnel on the field. We're able to get basically um, safeties at the linebacker position uh, across the board in this formation. We show you how to do that in my nickel 245 odd defensive ebook which i'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video but we also can create some really unique coverage concepts now again if you want to get my 245 odd guide guide there is a link in the description we show you in the guide how to get two-man pressure off of the left edge and also how to get two-man pressure off the right edge as well as several other blitzing concepts i think we have over 30 blitzes in that defensive ebook so i'm super excited to share that with you but what we're going to do from a coaching adjustments perspective is we're going to put our auto alignment to base. We're going to put our ball and air defense to play ball. Option defense is going to be on conservative. Flats are going to be on 30. And curl flats are going to be on 5. And hooks are going to be on default. So that's how we're going to kind of set that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come out into play pinch 2. Pinch 2 is our number one play. It's the best play of the formation, in my personal opinion. It gives you the best opportunity to not only get pressure, but I think it gives you the easiest coverage defense to set up in the entire game. It's really, really simple to set this coverage defense up. So here's how you do it. All you're going to do is you're going to come out and pinch 2. Once you get to the line of scrimmage, you're going to use or this right of screen middle linebacker, okay? Then what I like to do with this is to simply take the linebacker on the left side, and I'm going to put him in a purple zone, and then I'm going to take the slot corner on the right side and i'm going to put him in a purple zone as well and then last but not least what i like to do is take that linebacker on the left side and i like to drop him into a deep zone and the primary reason why i like to do that is just to kind of protect for post he actually does a really good job for like the snap throw crossing route that a lot of people like to use out of the play verticals or the double post and then if you wanted to the last adjustment is to just take that defensive end on the right side of the screen and drop him into a bluff blitz as you can see right there, uh, I'm going to drop him into a bluff blitz. So he's going to play some coverage for us as well. And then we're just going to drop back and basically lurk the middle of the field. And what you'll see is this crossing route that is normally really, really effective. That deep middle zone is going to take that away. The other reason why I really like this coverage defense is, like I, is, is because it's very simple to run. And those 30-yard cloud flats this year are super effective. They'll be very, very uh, baity. They'll they'll jump stuff for days. Um, like I said, all we're doing is we just press coverage. We're going to drop the slot uh, nickelback guy. We're going to drop him into a purple zone. And then we're going to... Uh, drop the linebacker on the right side of the screen into a purple zone the the linebacker the middle linebacker on the right side of the screen we're gonna drop him into a deep middle zone and then this this defensive end on the on the opposite side or whoever's on the bunch side we're dropping him into a bluff blitz so as you can see here this is basically the the formula and the coverage that we're going to create now i want to give a quick little tip so for example let me just show you something if they motion out a receiver to the left side what you want to do is you just want to man your slot up onto him and then drop that defensive end on that side into a purple zone. And the reason why we want to do that is because that means they're going to be probably running the play verticals. And if you don't get instant pressure like I just did out of that coverage shell, they're going to bomb you over the top. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, it's a really late read, but it is something that they can do. So they're basically streak R1. And then they'll motion this out. You know, they might block or whatever. And then I'll just set up kind of the basic coverage that we're creating out of this, uh, as you can see right here. This is kind of your basic coverage, if you will. And if they have time in the pocket, they can, and if they only if they motion out, uh, to my knowledge. But if they motion this guy out, they can wait on this and throw this to the left side, and they'll get this nice little pass lead just like that right there. So the way that we can combat that really easy, um, it's just one, or I guess technically it's two extra adju additional adjustments, 
but it's after you've set everything up. So again, you're at the line of scrimmage and you're just dropping your guys into their covered shells. And then you say, oh, I see that they're motioning out, um, you know, this bunch receiver. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to man my slot cornerback up onto him. And I'm going to drop that defensive end that's right next to my user into a hard flat. And just know that now I've got a user in the middle of the field all by myself. But if they try to throw that, you're going to see now we're going to be able to make a play on the ball. So I love this uh, defense. I think everyone should be running this defense. If you've not gotten my defensive ebook on this, I really think you should consider it. Um, I think by the within the next month, you will see every major pro player running this defense because it is that effective. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get my 245-odd complete defensive guide, there's a link in the description. It's a one-time purchase. It's not a reoccurring subscription or anything. You buy it once and you get the entire guide for just $15. So all you got to do to get that is go down into the description, click that link that I put down there. It'll take you right to the website and we'll get you all squared away. Thanks a lot for your time and I hope you enjoyed the video.